Hello everyone and welcome to our I Pick My Butt video. Yes, how to beat chapter 14. We finally get to make this video here and I can't be more excited to show you how. Now this video here is all about RNG and you hear people say it, oh, just wait till you get the perfect RNG, it'll be easy. And I was against that a lot of times, but after I did this here, it just seemed to go so perfect and it really didn't seem troublesome at all. All the other times that I've struggled on this just made it seem like I was never going to beat it. So although this video is heavily RNG based and I am creaming through it so easily, we still are going to continue with some of the boss videos breaking down each individual one. But I figured this video here was a good way that you can see how I want it and what was some of the abilities that I had. Now if you look to the left, this is the gear that I used to beat this chapter. But I did want to show the image on the right that I do have a level 71 ancient legendary bow. And that does about 700 more damage than my legendary staff that I have on the left. The reason I'm bringing this up is I actually switched back to the staff because the bow just didn't seem to cut it. And with Diagonal Arrow, it is just too OP in these boss boards that it just made it so easy once I got it. Now you can see that the very first thing I did get was Diagonal Arrow. I did get multi-shot from the devil himself and I did get health so it kind of balanced itself out too. That pretty much seems to be enough but you'll see further in this video here I was actually lucky enough to get another diagonal arrow and that's when I knew I was going to beat this board. Now as far as the lion rings I have that is going to do about 500 additional damage to the bosses which brings it up to about 3981 for the stuff that I'm using in this. But just imagine, for what I have on the right, 4,600 damage still didn't seem like it was enough to beat it. Yes, I could get to probably about stage 7, but the second I switched over to the staff, I was easily getting to 9 if I got multi-shot and diagonal arrow. Another thing I did on this too was I was trying the best of dexterity to see how the dodge would work, but I forgot about Phantom Cloak hitting that projectile resistance, and that really seemed to make a difference for me too. So like I said, all these little things with the right RNG really kind of added up. Now I could sit here and try to break down every single boss and say, oh, do this, this, and this, but there really is so little time of how fast I'm wiping these bosses out, it's not really fair. So when we do go back and make the boss videos, we will be using the bow just so we can have a little bit of a longer time of facing them. This one was one that I haven't actually brought to the attention in those videos yet, but what I always try to do is go towards them at first. These are one of those things, if you try to run from them, you're just gonna get hit. I did take a couple of zaps here, and I probably did get lucky on a lot of this, but this was still a nice easy win for me. I hate that boss, and I'm glad I just killed him. And if you haven't seen those boss videos yet, I'll have them linked down in the description and probably on the end screen too. But all the other bosses we've killed before this one right here are in those other videos, and there's a couple other ones too. On chapter 14, there's a chance of 15 different bosses you can run into. Now these ones, I try to get away from them right as soon as I can, and I try not to go as far as I can, but I want to keep some distance so when they do throw those boulders, I am able to move away. And if I find them twirling at me, I am going to go to the closest open spot and then kind of work the same principle of slowly moving away from the boulders just to dodge them. Now you also see that we are running the Book of Enlightenment, which is an awesome book, but I honestly think that I could have beaten it without it. Yes, I did end up getting Ricochet here in a second, which does help out with all these arrows that are going across the screen. It is going to help having it bounce back and forth between, but like I said, the power of having two diagonals and multi-shot really seemed to be enough. And I know I keep on saying that over and over, but guys, if you're not using the staff on this, if you're not trying for diagonal, you really just got to give it a try. You'll understand once you use it as a huge bow user, and yes, I probably would say it is my favorite weapon. I'm not crazy about the staff, but it just made it so much sense to use it, and it definitely paid out for me. So we did just beat the trees there, and my big thing on that is constantly keep on moving. You don't have to run all the way from one side of the screen to the other, but if you can't see them, assume they're about to jump on you. The second you see the shadow with a little bit of screen you have, they could already be pouncing on you like I did right in the beginning and took that hit. And if you do find them pouncing on you, well, yes, that is a time where you want to try running towards the other end of the screen. As far as these snake bosses here, I just stick to the back. Really, the only one you got to worry about is the one shooting the blobs at you, that one right there. The other one just shoots like 14 in a row. And really, you can just stagger a little bit left or right, and he's pretty easy to dodge. But I will say this, and I probably said in a bunch of my other videos, I always feel like I get lucky at this. And one of the big things I felt I got lucky on this one was not having to go up against the double scythe mages. They are a huge pain in the butt. I am not good at them. I'll say it. It's like the worst boss for me to face. You'll probably see me dying in co-op. But I don't care how lucky anybody gets. 
you only need to beat that chapter once and then you can claim that title. And this was it for me here. Now I did almost actually beat it without dying. I think I got to the last one and I was probably a couple hits away. If I was a little bit smarter, I don't ever consider myself the best archer player, but I do consider myself an average one. So on that fact, I think if you go by these stats, somewhere around 3,500 attack and about 11,000 hit points, which does seem like a lot. Don't worry guys, you'll get there. That seemed like a good way to do it for being level 73. And the lion rings, they did help too. You probably saw my angel locket kick in, and I would say no matter what chapter you're on, use the angel locket. It makes sense. It's a lifesaver, literally. But as far as the bracelets, I wouldn't be too concerned on using the frozen one that I'm using for chapter 14. I would find the highest rarity, highest level, because that's going to give added attack damage to your character. And that means dropping these guys even faster. If you have to, set your phone down in between playing these bosses and get your cool. You got to keep your calm on them because you know as well as I do, going in nervous and anxious, sometimes I get the shakes when I play these guys for the first time. And this time, it just seemed like I was cool, I was relaxed, and I think that paid out a lot too. Although dying right there made me think, oh geez, I'm going to lose an R1. What's this going to be? Try 200 for me? But luckily, I kept the cool and I did get through it. Yes, I know this is different from my other chapter videos, but I really wanted to stress this to you guys of the right gear to use because I want you to beat it too. Hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and remember, I pick my butt.